Tonight, a call for action by business owners along Del Paso Boulevard trying to get dangerous and blighted buildings cleaned up. They want more code enforcement by city inspectors. CBS 13's Steve Large is live with one business owner who says the problem is so bad, Steve, he's closing. Yeah, that guy I wear had been a success story on this boulevard that's been trying to overcome crime and blight. Now, this owner says he's leaving too because his building is falling apart and he can't get his landlord to fix it. This is actual ductwork from the air conditioning. Collapsed ceiling tiles exposing the crawl space above and stains from a perpetually leaky roof have finally led Dennis Peterson to make the difficult decision he's closing. Uh... This is a jumble of emotions. The owner of that guy eyewear says the most recent collapse was the clincher. That created a situation where my optometrist decided he didn't want to put his license in jeopardy by practicing in a potentially dangerous building. Peterson has rented space here for six years and has survived a lot, including a car speeding in reverse through his storefront. Now he's done on Del Paso Boulevard. His loss serves as a symbol for a problem on the corridor. Well, to me, it's a symbol of, of the properties not being upkept by the property owners. Oh, it sucks. I mean, it sucks big time. Daniel Savala is the executive director of the Del Paso Boulevard Partnership. You know, Dennis represents everything that we want and ask for and fight for here on Del Paso Boulevard. Savala is putting pressure on a group of property owners, including Peterson's, who have buildings in disrepair. He's asked City Hall to increase response to dangerous building cases filed here. And nine's my magic number. I've got nine property owners that are just historically just blighted properties. Sacramento Code Enforcement reports they are working on the cases Savala has filed. Any enforcement will come after that guy eyewear is gone from Del Paso Boulevard, leaving yet another storefront on this struggling corridor empty. And, and I'm sad for the boulevard. And I did reach out to that guy eyewear's landlord, and they did not respond to my request for a comment. Dennis Peterson says all he knows is he's closing up here. He doesn't know where he's going next, but he would like to reopen somewhere within the Sacramento city limits.